Hey, what is going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can tell if someone is actually tracking your iPhone. Now we're talking here about location, your data, maybe your calls or even your messages. Can actually someone track your iPhone and if yes, in which cases and what you can do about it. All this will follow up in this video. Now, before we get into that, I just want to ask you guys to leave a like on this video as it does help my channel a lot. So make sure to do that and smash that like button. So simply answering this question, yes, it is possible for someone to know the location of your iPhone, but that of course only on like specific cases. If you share your Apple ID with someone, they will know the location of your iPhone. As you know, iPhone has the Find My app, which basically shows you all the devices and you can know their location. But what if you have there a device that maybe you have shared your Apple ID with someone and now you don't want them to know your location anymore, what you can do about it. We'll get to that in just a second. But first of all, let's just talk about the basically the cases in which your iPhone might be tracked. That's one of them. Someone has your Apple ID and of course they will know the location of your device. Another thing is spy apps. There are apps that you can actually download from the app store that basically can spy on your iPhone. Actually just know the location, the calls, the messages and all that. They're legit apps, but for someone to do that to your device, they need to actually have physical access to your device and actually install those apps from the app store and leave them there active on your device without you even knowing them. They can maybe hide them on a folder somewhere or maybe even just remove them now from the home screen and hide them. So there's of course something you can do about it as well. And the third scenario in which you might get tracked on your iPhone is by installing apps from third party like websites or stuff like that, which might be basically apps that might just track maybe your keyboard or maybe even your microphone or your camera if you of course give access to them. So you need to be aware from those apps. So now let's get into the solutions and how to fix when someone is tracking your iPhone. The first case when someone can actually find the location of your device is, as I said, if they have your Apple ID and passcode, of course. The ways to fix that, very simple. Go to your settings and go to your Apple ID, which is at the top of your settings app. Right here, we'll see a list of all devices that are signed in with the Apple ID. If you see here the device that you don't want to leave anymore on your Apple ID and you don't want them to use that Apple ID, you can go ahead and remove it from here. But once you remove it, just know that if they sign in again, of course, using that Apple ID and the passcode, they will show up again here, but you will have to actually change the passcode. Then of course that can be done from here from password and security. That's where you go and change your passcode. If you just want completely to remove those devices, if you just gave your Apple ID and passcode to someone, you shared it with someone, you don't want them to have it any longer and be able to know the location of your device, then you go ahead and change the passcode from here. You can also enable two-factor authentication and you can also add a trusted phone number that should be your phone number and anytime someone wants to log in with the Apple ID, even though they might have the passcode, they will be required to have like a code to verify before they can actually sign in with that Apple ID and then know the location of your device. Now the location of the devices is known by actually going to the Find My app. Right there, anyone can see, of course, the location of each devices that are connected to that Apple ID. Of course, as long as they have Find My enabled, of course, you want to have that enabled at all time, just in case your iPhone might get lost or stolen. The second scenario is spy apps. These are apps that actually monitor devices. They can have access to your location and maybe even your messages or phone calls. As I said at the beginning, those are apps that have to be installed on your device to do that. What you can do if you just maybe like think that that something is happening to you and you have one of those apps on your device, it's very simple. You go to settings and from here, go to privacy, 
and go to location services, you will see all the apps that actually have access to your location. If you see any app here that you don't know, just make sure to turn it off and of course find that app and completely delete it. If you see here an app that has your location and you don't know that you have installed that app, just go ahead and simply go right here and search for that app and you will be able to actually go ahead and remove it from your device. Just simply delete it and you're good to go. That app will no longer have access to your stuff and your location as well. Again, someone has to install actually that app on your device, so if someone has physical access to your device and installs it and hides it somewhere, then of course through that app they can have access to your data. And last but not least is installing apps from third party websites, third party apps and all that stuff. These are usually apps that you won't be able to get from the app store or they are modified versions of app store apps. So an app which is the same as the one that you get from the app store but it offers you more features or it offers a few features that are paid on the app store version and they offer them for free but of course you will have to risk the security of your device and data to get that or they're just free versions of paid apps that you get on the app store. Now these can be apps that are like apps that are maybe infected with malware stuff like that they might just track your device maybe your keyboard or something like that try to steal data that of course will probably happen very rarely if any time it will happen but just make sure that you never install any apps on your iphone that are outside of the app store that's the best thing you can do for now of course just always install official apps don't install apps like hacked apps and stuff like that from third-party websites just to make sure that your device is always protected now of course if you have any of those apps installed on your device and you're maybe thinking is it tracking my device or is it doing something on my device there are a few things that you need to be aware of just make sure that your device doesn't heat up by itself without you doing anything that means that something is processing on the background or maybe your device will reboot or you will see your device's battery draining really really fast that's also a sign that you might have an app that's actually doing something in the background and make sure you go ahead and delete those apps from your device as soon as possible so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are a few things that you can check out if you think that your device is being tracked of course tracking an iphone is not really easy and probably a lot of you guys won't have that problem but if you think you do then there are a few simple steps that i showed you guys on this video that you can follow in order to make sure that that is not happening to your device so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one